called Out and Wakes Me. Pass, I hear. Ignore. Pass. Breakfast is almost ready. I peek one eye towards the lit hallway. What time is it? Like four, Auden says. I grab my phone off the nightstand. 3.41 a.m. Huff. Shut my eyes. He sits on the bed. Boss, I made you breakfast? He's speaking extra gently. I huff. It's kind of a masterpiece. Because even his joking voice is delicate, I feel bad being grouchy. But I'm grouchy anyway. Can't we go later? We'll miss the good sales. Boss, come on. Why don't you go with Caroline? He shoves my shoulder over being sweet. Get up. I plop in front of the upside down plate covering breakfast. He pushes in my chair. I mumble. He shoves my shoulder again. Crappy thank you. I snarl at him. He mocks my face and bursts into laughter. Okay, get ready for this, he says, positioning his hands to lift the plate. And voila, I gasp. Green eggs and ham? He's beaming. And coffee to shut up that wine, he says, putting a cup down beside me. A Dr. Seuss breakfast for the future Mrs. Seuss. You remember I wanted to be the next Dr. Seuss? That was like first grade. I just remember you wanted to marry a dead man. Wow, this is, I know, right? And you didn't even want to get up. This is really incredible, Alvin. Thank you. Where's yours? I already ate. He sits down, spreads newspaper, newspaper advertisements across the table. Did you circle what you want to buy like I told you to last night? I don't care where we go. I'm just following you. Is dad coming? I don't know. Well, did you talk to him? No. Should I call him? If you want. What? I don't know. Do you not want me to call him? He picks up a pen and looks for something new to circle. Shrugs his shoulders. What's up with you and dad? Nothing, he says, meeting my eyes for emphasis. You seem like you don't want to hang out with him. He says you hardly even call him. I call him. Are you mad at him? No. Are you sad at him? <laughs> what? I just don't care if he comes or not. He knew what time we were leaving. You know he's late to everything. So? So if I call him, he'll hurry. Okay. Huh? I am tired of dealing with his shit. I'm surprised by the aggression in this statement. I try not to show it. Yeah? Why should we have to call and remind him when we're leaving? I raise my eyebrows, flare my nostrils, and purse my lips in a shrugless shrug. My brother is a turtle that rarely pokes his head out and does not respond well to prodding. We're the kids, he's the parent, he should be here before us, ready to go, getting us up. We are both in our mid-twenties, so actually this is something that has taken him too many years to say. I can see he realizes the error immediately after speaking. I want to hug him, but 
This will only embarrass us both. I shovel the last bites of my food to stand up and make the sign of the cross. En el nombre del Padre, del Hijo, del Espíritu Santo, amen. So that I can kiss him on the cheek, a ritual of thanks only our grandparents enforced when we were kids. Ugh, he responds, wiping away my kiss. So I put him in a chokehold. He is much bigger and stronger than me. He wraps his arm around my neck in the same manner I've done while I am still holding his neck. I turn my head and kiss the side of his face repeatedly. He laughs. We spend our time alone together this way, laughing determinedly. Thank you.